What's up YouTube? So today I'm doing a review on my 2016 Harley Davidson Softail Slim. I decided to uh, not ride one of my sport bikes today, but I'm going to ride my Harley instead. And uh, right now I'll do a quick walk around. As you can see, it's the uh, it's the Harley Softail Slim. It's not the S version. It's the standard. The reason why I got the standard is because the denim black paint job. The uh, S model uh, it comes with cruise control and a couple other amenities, but it doesn't come in the denim black. And that flat black, I mean, you just can't beat that. It's like ACDC. So uh, some things I've done to it, as you can see, uh, the stock seat was super uncomfortable. It's a lot smaller than this. What I did is I bought the two-person uh, ride-up seat. Uh, I also got the foot pegs installed for the passenger. Uh, when I first got this was in November around Veterans Day weekend. As you can see, it's got the heel toe shifter and floorboards. Uh, I also got the front crash uh, crash bars installed on there in black. Um, let's see, I got the U mount for the uh, ram mount whenever I want to put that on there. Um, I still got stock exhaust. I got the stock uh, air intake. I'm thinking about getting a fuel pack and some uh, Vincent Hines pipes. I'm uh, deciding whether between uh, chrome or black. Haven't made a decision yet, but um, I'm kind of leaning towards chrome. This bike is black. Um, might have too much black in it if I uh, get the black pipes. So we'll see how that goes. Also, I installed, as you can see here, this is a Fender heat shield kind of doohickey. Uh, Harley sells it, and it's a money maker because. Let's just say uh, some things got over hot and almost fried when you're sitting at uh, red lights on these Harleys because they are air cooled. They uh, <laughs> they don't have radiators. So uh, yeah, let's just say this this thing was worth every bit of uh, ninety to hundred bucks or whatever I paid for it. Also, I got the uh, uh, what's it called the battery tender. I got those on all my bikes. I've installed them on my other ones. I charge them every now and then in my garage. Uh, keeps the batteries fresh. And also, if you don't ride them for a while, uh, it'll keep the batteries alive. As you can see, we've still got the stock exhaust. Uh, it's pretty loud, though. I'll do a startup here in a second. Um, Softail Slim it gets its name from the Slim profile it has, unlike uh, Fat Boys or uh, Fat Boy Lows, uh, which are pretty cool. They're all the Softail family in Harley Davidson, but this is the Slim. Um, the main reason I like this bike is one, it just caught our eye on the floor. Um, it's attractive. Look at it. I mean, it's like old school. It almost reminds me of some Indiana, Indiana Jones kind of stuff. Um, that classic look. I mean, yes, I have my sport bikes. I have my CBR 1000 RR. I have another bike soon to be revealed, by the way. I haven't forgot about that. It should be revealed, um, hopefully within the next week or so, just finalizing some paperwork before I do the official unveil. Um, now this bike, uh, like I said, it's old school look. There is the Softail Breakout, which my good friend has. It's more of a sporty, modernized version of this bike. Uh, however, I just love this classic. When I think Harley Davidson, I think of like that side crest right there. I think about the classic style, the look. It's got the uh, bicycle BMX style handlebars on this model. That old school single headlight, the fenders. The heel toe shifter, I just love it. Um, so, speaking of which, comfort level. This thing is like sitting on a reclining chair. With that seat right there, uh, this, like I said earlier, this seat is, it was after, I got it when I bought the bike because I sat on that stock seat and I was like, that's going to hurt. Um, it's like sitting in a recliner. I mean, it sits perfectly even. I'm leaning back on it. It's got like a backrest. Uh, I got the floorboard or footboard, should I say? And look at a huge brake pedal for the rear brake. It's awesome. Uh, but this thing with the hill toe shifter, I thought it would be hard to get to learn how to use it and adjust to it, but it's actually pretty easy. Um, it's actually, like I said, overall, this is probably it is the most comfortable bike I have ever ridden. Um, so now we'll do a quick startup for you guys and let y'all hear it. Sounds pretty good, stock exhaust. Um, like I said, I might get Vance and Hines. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty penny though. Of course, everything, you know, HD doesn't stand for Harley Davidson, it stands for high dollar. So, 
Let's get some sound. Like I said, it's not overly loud right now. Of course, uh, the Vance and Heinz pipes make it ridiculously loud, but going, it's, it's pretty good for what it is for being stock. Got that classic Harley sound, I love it, that grrr. So yeah, there's, uh, there's what it sounds like. Um, give y'all a short little test ride with me uh, riding down the road. Oh, by the way, beautiful Hawaii at another beach park here. Love it. Sunset coming approaching. I love it. Okay, so uh, I'll get on the road and I'll show you what it rides like. All right, so now that we're uh, rolling, I can give a short demo on how this rides. It's smooth. Like you can see, I'm like lean back, reclining almost. This thing is awesome. Very comfortable. Um, I, can't, I can't even explain how comfortable it is. I mean, you just sit back, I'm reclining. It shifts like a champ with the heel toe shifter. Um, got the handlebars that are nice and low profile. Arms straight out. I mean, it's, it's a great thing. Um, Got the Hollywood style BMX handlebars, sits low profile. Uh, it's great, it's relaxing. Um, when I drive to work, I like to actually take this more than uh, my sport bikes. Everybody knows sport bikes aren't made for comfort. They're made for, uh, I guess, looking cool. And I just love, I've always liked the way sport bikes look, but um, I've always liked the uh, Harleys too. I like to say I like to have the best of both worlds and I do in my, uh, Honda CBR 1000 R and my Harley Davidson Softail Slim. So, you know, some people might say, oh, you're super confused. You gotta stick to one. But that's the thing. I love all motorcycles. I love uh, sport bikes. I love Harleys, cruisers. I love, uh, I'm actually been, well, I don't wanna say I love, but I've been looking into those uh, Enduros, you know, uh, on-road, off-road. Uh, Cycle Cruiser actually has a uh, cool WR250R and he's modded it. I think he's put like four grands and just mods into it recently. And, uh, you know, I've been looking at uh, maybe getting an Enduro, but lucky, again, I have too many motorcycles as it is. <laughs> and there's actually not a lot of places to off-road here in Hawaii, which is kind of a bummer. All the land's pretty much protected here, which is understandable. It's a small island. And uh, so maybe when I get back to the uh, the mainland one day I'll actually look into getting into an enduro. I've also looked at those adventure bikes like those I think Honda Africa Twins and such. Uh, I've been watching some uh, moto vlogs um, you know they're, they're riding around adventure style in Utah and the canyons and desert pass and you know that stuff's pretty cool too. I mean I've always liked that kind of stuff and uh, you know adventure bikes, sport bikes, cruisers, you name it. I love motorcycles and uh, Again, this this bike it, it it's just so smooth. I mean, I can't even explain it. Um, sit here, relax. It's comfortable. There's no real concentration. I will say though, it's a heavy beast. Uh, I think this weighs 710 pounds. At least that's what it says on the registration. So uh, I don't know if that includes you know fuel and uh, all the other fluids and such, but. Uh, it's a beast, I'll tell you that. You walk it around uh, when you're sitting uh, in a parking space and you gotta like back it up. You actually have to concentrate a little bit. It's a little front top heavy right here uh, between your legs and, but you know, that's that, that's that power. So, <laughs> so uh, like I said, it, it's a lot heavier than a sport bike. You know, it doesn't really lean. I mean, it does lean, I will say that. I mean, if you know how to ride a motorcycle, you can lean any bike. It's just a different kind of lean. I'm sitting here lean back as I lean the bike back and forth, left and right. But uh, like I said, I, I, once I'm on the interstate, this thing will get going. Um, I'm in fourth gear right now. I like the instrument gauge, by the way. Classic Harley-Davidson. So pretty. 
just minimal what you need to know, but it still has a digital gauge, which I think is awesome. It's got different modes. Like right now I'm in the gear mode with the RPMs, total miles, and then it's got like two trip meters, and then the radius before you need to refuel. Uh, you've got your clock, and then, you know, I usually just keep it on gear and RPM ratio. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is awesome. I love this thing. Like I was saying earlier, I love to ride it to work. Uh, so comfortable. Um, you know, sport bikes are awesome, but Harleys are right there with them. I've never ridden the big Harleys, as I like to say, the street glides and the road glides, but you know, that's not more my style. I don't like that giant fender fairing on the front. Um, I think they look cool. I think street glides really look cool. Come on now, don't turn. Thank you. Uh, but it's not my style. It's too big, too bulky for me. I mean, this is already heavy enough for me. Uh, I like not having a windshield. Uh, some people put windshields on these. I honestly think windshields kind of look dorky, but <laughs> that's just my opinion. Um, I like the raw, old school power look like this has. No windshield, just low handlebars, mean and aggressive old school. Um, but like I said, this thing is awesome. Uh, I'll do a couple more. Uh, I'll do future motor vlogs in the future on the Harley. Uh, mainly ride it to work, but uh, when my wife and I ride down to Waikiki and such, this is way more comfortable and I tend to take this when we go around the island. Um, I do a future motor vlog when I, we do go around the island, so look forward to that. And other than that, be safe. I hope y'all enjoyed the review of my 2016 Harley Softail Slim in denim black. And uh, y'all ride safe and I'll see you guys later. Oh, and don't forget, there will be a bike reveal, hopefully next week. New bike, continue to guess what it is. It's not American, it is not Japanese, and it's not Italian. That was a guess from my boy, Moto Vlog. So sorry, Moto Vlogo, but you were wrong, dead wrong. Just playing. All right, take care, guys. Talk to y'all later.